Stories and content in Weird Darkness can be disturbing for some listeners and is intended for mature audiences only. Parental discretion is strongly advised. The Black Museum. Affiliated stations present Escape. All of fantasy. Inner Sanctum Mystery. Lights. Murder at midnight. A sealed book presents suspense. I am the whistler. Welcome, weirdos. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Retro Radio Sunday on Weird Darkness. Each week I bring you a show from the golden age of radio, but still in the genre of Weird Darkness. I'll have stories of the macabre and horror, mysteries and crime, and even some dark science fiction. If you're new here, welcome to the show. And if you're already a member of this weirdo family, please take a moment and invite someone else to listen. And please leave a rating and review in the podcast app you're listening from. Doing these things helps the show to keep growing. And while you're listening, be sure to check out WeirdDarkness.com for merchandise, my newsletter, to connect with me on social media, and more. Coming up is an episode from Lights Out with a story called The Dream. Lights Out is an American old-time radio program devoted mostly to horror and the supernatural, so of course we're going to feature it here on Weird Darkness. Created by Willis Cooper and then eventually taken over by Arch Obler, versions of Lights Out aired on different networks at different times, from January 3, 1934 to the summer of 1947, and the series eventually made the transition to television. Lights Out was one of the earliest radio horror programs, predating Suspense and Inner Sanctum, both hits in their own right. In the fall of 1933, NBC writer Willis Cooper conceived the idea of a midnight mystery serial to catch the attention of the listeners at the witching hour. The idea was to offer listeners a dramatic program late at night, at a time when the competition was mostly airing music. At some point, the serial concept was dropped in favor of an anthology format, emphasizing crime thrillers and the supernatural, with a different story in each episode. From March 16, 1943, originally airing on the CBS radio network, here is Lights Out, with an episode called The Dream. Now bolt your doors, lock your windows, turn off your lights, and come with me into the weird darkness. Ironized Yeast presents Lights Out. Everybody. It is later than you think. Lights Out brings you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal, dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly. So if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly, but sincerely, to turn off your radio now. This is Arch Ovaler. Dreams are part of all of our lives, and tonight we bring you the story of a woman's strange dream. But first, Frank Martin for just a moment. Frankly now, friends, is that you saying you're so thin and weak and frazzled out you can't do your work or enjoy your fun? Well, cheer up. Maybe all you need is more vitamin B and iron. And ironized yeast gives you vitamin B and iron. Yes, both vital substances in pleasant-to-take tablet form. They've helped thousands of people who only because they needed more of these substances, were weary and worn out. Help them so amazingly that today these folks tell how fine they feel, how thanks to good pounds gained they look like a million, really enjoy life today. Yes, that's 
Ironized Yeast Tablets. Make a note of that name right now. And now? Lights out. Everybody. Claire! Uh, oh, uh, Claire. Yes, Charles? What time is it? Eight. Well, you, you haven't been asleep. No. Not at all? No. Oh, that's terrible. Claire, Claire, we've got to do something about it. What? Well, why don't you take some pills or something? No. But you've got to sleep. Claire, look here. Tell the truth. How long is it since you've slept? Really slept. What's the difference? Tell me. Three nights. No. You asked me. I had no idea. I, I thought you slept but didn't sleep soundly, but three nights. You'd better get up. It's late. Oh, never mind me. We've got to do something about this. You, Claire. Claire, what's wrong? Wrong? The reason. The reason you can't sleep there. Must be some sort of a reason. I just don't sleep. All right. That settles it. What? You're going to a doctor today. Yes, this morning. No. What do you mean, no? No wonder you've been looking so ill. Charles, I don't want it's to. It's settled. You're going to a doctor right away. Wait a minute. Look at me. You're not hiding anything from me. What is there to hide? I just can't sleep. Action, lungs, everything quite normal. Of course, you're in rather a nervous state, but that's quite understandable. If, as you say, you haven't slept for that length of time. I haven't. Of course, I believe you. Please, won't you sit down? Thank you. What's troubling you, Mrs. Collins? Troubling? Yes. Nothing at all. If you're quite true, I think I'm going home. I have to... No, please, sit down. I'm warning you, Mrs. Collins, to go without sleep for as protracted a period of time as you have is most dangerous, physically and mentally. For your own sake, you must let me help you. What can I do? Have confidence in me. Now, your husband tells me you refuse to take any sort of soporific, sleeping powder. Is that true? Yes. It follows then that you don't want to fall asleep. Is that true? Well, Mrs. Collins, I said it before and I say it again in complete sincerity. For your own sake, you must answer me. It's true, isn't it, that you don't want to fall asleep? Yes. Why? I don't dare. Why? Because I'll dream. You don't want to dream? No. Why not? All right, then. Tell me this. How often have you had this dream? Two times. I see. What is this recurring dream about, Mrs. Collins? I can't tell you. Why not? I just can't. My dear woman, don't you realize I'm not just prying for the sake of simply prying? I'm trying to help you. And the way to help you is for you to help yourself by bringing this thing out into the open. You've got to tell me about it. A dream generally has a basis in reality. If we talk about it, perhaps we can find the underlying cause of the dream and so eliminate it. Don't hesitate to tell me. You know, I'm a physician. Everything you tell me is in confidence. Supposing we start. You go to sleep. Close your eyes. You dream. What do you dream? I dream. I dream. No, I can't tell you. Mrs. Collins, where are you? Well, I'll be... Would you hang a towel on the doorknob? Yes. You gotta get out now. <laughs> yeah, I hope they don't ration hot water in this part of the country. Bruh, there. I have to miss my good night tub. My morale will go lower than, than Hitler's conscience. Towel's on the knob. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, dear. I found one on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Nothing like a tub to make a man sleep. <laughs> Claire. Oh, yeah. Where's that robe? I'm sure got to find out. And, uh... Oh, Claire. Claire, uh, the doctor. What, Charles? The doctor. I was so busy all day, and then you didn't... Uh... Well, well, what happened? What did he say? He said I was all right. 
But, well, was that all? Didn't he say what was the cause? No. Well, what in the... He didn't seem to know. It, it, it's crazy. I mean, when I, when I got to the office, your sleeplessness was all I could think of. And then C.L. started to have one of his desk-banging fits. And then New York started in on the teletype. And I... Well, I just forgot all about it. The, uh... The doctor, he did prescribe something for you, didn't he? Yes. Oh, of course. Pills are what you need. You just got yourself into an insomnia state of mind, but once sleeping pills breaks you of it, why, you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I guess I'm tired. Ooh. Yeah. What do you say we, we turn out the light and both of us go to sleep, huh? All right. Wait a minute. You taken whatever the doctor gave you? Yes. Fine. Well, off of the line, huh? You will be all right, isn't it? I'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> sure you will. Pills will start to work in a few minutes. You'll be all right. Sleep. Wonderful thing, sleep. Wonderful thing. Sleep. Wonderful sleep. He's right. Wonderful. No, mustn't think about that. Mustn't think about anything but staying awake. Wonderful. No, isn't wonderful. Horrible. Horrible sleep. I won't sleep. I'm so tired. If I could close my eyes. Just in minute. Just a second. I wouldn't sleep. Rest. Just rest. No. I'd fall asleep and then got to stay awake. Got to stay awake. Just close my eyes for a second. Just a second. Could sleep. Won't sleep. Dream. I am asleep. Dreaming. Walking. Where am I walking? Street. So long. Empty. Where am I walking? Running. Why should I run? Where am I running? I've got to stop running and walk. But I can't stop. I can't... <gasps> House. What is this house? No. I won't go up there. I won't, I won't. But I... I am. I won't, I won't. But I... I am. Going in. Who's in here? Hello, Claire. <gasps> Where's my father? You again. Where's my father? You again. Where's my father? The same dream. Where's my father? Don't say that. Where's my father? Stop saying that. Where's my father? No. Where's stop my father? Stop saying that. Where's Close my your father? mouth. Stop Where's saying that. Stop. All father? right, I'll Where's make you father? stop. Where's my Drink father? this. <laughs> Drink. Just like the other time. Drink. Drink. <sighs> there. That stopped you. Dream, running in my dream, just a dream. Wait, ah! where are you going? Oh, no, don't touch me. Put me down. Don't swing me around. I can't stand it. I'm getting dizzy. Around and round and round. Faster and faster and faster. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Why am I screaming? Just a dream. I'll stop screaming. Dark. Where am I? 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 
tunnel. Someone following me. Something. No! I know what it is. I know. It won't get me. Never get me. Run, run, run. Never catch me. Never, never. Oh, can't go any farther. End of tunnel. River. Can't go. It's so dark. And it's still coming for me. No, you won't get me. <laughs> won't get me. Swim. I can swim. Swim in the dark. Away from... <gasps> what am I swimming in? Can't see what... Oh. Swimming in... Oh. No. I remember now. It's a dream. Oh, this is just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. You can wake up out of a dream. I will wake up. I've got to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Claire. Claire, stop screaming. Claire, wake up. Wake up. You're having a nightmare. Claire, you're having a nightmare. Wake up. Ladies and gentlemen, just to reassure ourselves that we're not dreaming, supposing we take time out from the story of the dream and leave Claire and Charles long enough to slow down our galloping bloodstream, and while we're doing that, listen to some young ladies discussing a problem that is most important to them in these times. Of course you're lonesome. You mope at home all the time. Why, I'll bet you haven't seen the gang in months. Oh, but nobody wants to see me anymore. And I'm so thin and tired and all in, I just don't care. Oh, if I could only feel good once again. Maybe you can, and quickly, too. Maybe you're one of the thousands today who suffer simply from vitamin B and iron shortage. If you are, why don't you try ironized yeast tablets? They give you both these vital substances, and believe you me, they are vital. You see, when you don't get enough vitamin B from your food, you may lose your appetite, not eat all you need. Why, even what you do eat may not do you the good it should. So, naturally, you lose weight, lose your pep, feel frazzled out. And when you don't get enough iron from your food, you may be weak and pale. You may feel only half alive. And you say ironized yeast tablets supply both vitamin B and iron? Yes, and they're a cinch to take. Just pleasant little tablets. Yet, it's these pleasant little ironized yeast tablets that have been of such amazing benefit to thousands who only needed more vitamin B and iron. Today, these thousands tell how quickly... Ironized yeast help them gain glorious new strength and pep, new pounds, new popularity. So, try ironized yeast tablets if more vitamin B and iron is what you need. Then see if soon you aren't saying... Oh, I feel wonderful. I've gained pounds. That weary, washed-out feeling is gone, and now I'm really enjoying life. Oh, how I wish I'd tried ironized yeast tablets ages ago. If you love old-time radio, you'll want to visit our friends at ClassicRadioStore.com who provide all the shows for me to wear. At ClassicRadioStore.com, you'll find thousands of episodes available in pristine, digitally remastered sound. Every episode they offer at ClassicRadioStore.com has been transferred from the master recordings and digitally remastered for superior sound quality. That's why the episodes that you hear on Weird Darkness sound so clean. And the shows at ClassicRadioStore.com are all uncut, unedited, and are delivered to you as they were originally broadcast, including the classic commercials. You can download great shows that'll chill you and thrill you, such as Suspense, The Whistler, Inner Sanctum, Lights Out, and more. There are mystery and crime shows like Sherlock Holmes, Philip Marlowe, Dragnet, and Sam Spade. They got a great collection of old-time science fiction radio shows like X-1 or Dimension X. Plus, there is a ton of comedy and westerns there, too, if you want to relive the shows of yesteryear. All the shows are available to instantly digitally download, and the links never expire, so you can order them now and listen to them anytime you'd like. And because you're a listener of Weird Darkness, you can save 20% on any and all radio shows on the website by using the promo code WEIRD at checkout. Just visit ClassicRadioStore.com, select all the radio show packages you want, 
Then, at checkout, use the promo code WEIRD and save 20% on your whole purchase. That's ClassicRadioStore.com, promo code WEIRD at checkout. And now back to Lights Out. It's the following morning. The husband and the doctor stand outside the bedroom door discussing the dream. Acting this way isn't going to help her, Mr. Collins. I'll grant you that it's serious not sleeping for six days, but I'm positive she'll be sensible now and tell me what it's all about. But the way she lies there, Doctor, her, her eyes... I told you, stop thinking about it. You ask me to help her and I'll help her. Now go make yourself some coffee while I go in and talk to her. But I... All right, Doctor. And stop worrying. Morning, Mrs. Collins. Mind if I talk to you? I understand you had a bad time of it. Well, I can understand you don't feel much like talking. Suppose I pull up a chair. <sighs> Sit down. Do the talking myself. What do you want? Something very simple. The truth. Truth? Yes, if not for your sake, for your husband's. What do you mean? I want to find out the source of your dreams. If you don't tell me, the consequences may be disastrous. The human organism simply can't endure without the proper rest. Mrs. Collins, I beg of you. Tell me. You must. I... I... Yes? I must sleep. Of course. If I tell you... You swear you won't tell him? You have my word as a physician. I... I've been married to Charles for two years. Yes? I was never married before, but I'm his second wife. I know. He had a child by that first wife. I... I didn't like that child. He was always a reminder that Charles loved someone before me. I didn't like that. Well, go on, Mrs. Cullen. Now, now, Mrs. Collins, please. Go on and tell me. No, no, you shouldn't do that. Mrs. Collins, there's only one answer to this. You must take a sedative and get some rest. A few hours of sound sleep and everything will straighten itself out. I'm sure of that. Now, you will take a sedative, won't you? Yes. Yes, I will. Fine. You'd better take some right now while I'm here. Water. Here you are. Drink this. Come now, drink. Leave it. I will. Promise? Yes. Here's the sedative. Take two now, and if that doesn't do it, take two more in, say, half an hour. I'll leave you more than enough. All right. Now, you will take it. Yes. It's the only sensible thing to do. I'll drop in and see you this afternoon. I know that after you've slept, you'll feel more like talking. Yes. Now, well, sleep well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sleep well. Sleep well. Sedative. Yes. Sleep well. Must sleep, must. But if I sleep... <laughs> I've got to sleep. Got to. Don't care what happens. Got to sleep. Water. Where? He left the glass. Yes. Pills. How many? I don't know. I don't know. Put them in. Drink. Drink it all. We'll sleep. We'll sleep. doesn't work. Oh, doctor said I will sleep. Close my eyes. Don't care. We'll sleep. We'll sleep. We'll sleep. We'll. <gasps> Dream. I'm asleep. Dreaming again. Walking. Where am I walking? Street. The long empty. Where am I walking? Running. Why should I run? Where am I running? I've got to stop running and walk. But I can't stop. I can't. House. What 
Is this house? No. I won't go up there. I won't, I won't. Not again. But I... I am. I... I don't want to. But I am. I won't. I won't go in. But I... I am. Going in. Who's in here? Hello, Claire. <gasps> Where's my father? You, again. Where's my father? You, again. Where's my father? The same dream. Where's my father? Don't say that. Where's my father? Stop saying that. Where's my father? No, Where's stop my saying father? that. Close Where's your mouth. Stop Where's saying that. Where's stop. my father? All right, I'll make you stop. Drink this. I'll drink. Just like the other time. Drink. Drink. There. That stopped you. Didn't it? Didn't it? <gasps> dead. Jimmy, you're dead. I did kill you. That's the way it was. I did kill you. There. I said it. I did kill you. I had to. Every time I looked at you, it was the infernal first wife of his I saw. You understand? I had to kill you. Gone. Jimmy, gone. It never happened before. Never happened before in my dream. Dream. Just a dream. Why do I run? It's just a dream. Wait. Where are you going? Oh. No. Don't touch me. Put me down. Don't swing me around. I can't stand it. I'm getting dizzy. Around and around and around. Faster and faster and faster. Don't let me go. 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 Why am I screaming? It's just a dream. I'll stop screaming. So dark. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, no. Someone following me. Something. No! After me again, again. It won't get me. Never get me. Run, run, run. Never catch me. Never. Never. Can't go any farther. End of tunnel. River. Can't go. So dark. And it's still coming for me. No, you won't get me. Don't get me. Swim. I can swim. Swim in the dark. Away from. What am I swimming in? Can't see what. Oh. Swimming in. Oh. No. I remember now. It's a dream. Oh, this is just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. You can wake up out of a dream. I will wake up. Why can't I wake up? It's just a dream, a dream. Always at this moment I've been able to wake up. It's coming through the water after me. I've got to wake up. I've got to wake up. I, I can't swim in this. I can't. I've got to wake up. Why can't I wake up? Dream, just a dream. Always woke up before. Why can't I wake up out of this dream? What if I could never... Wake up out of this dream. The pills. The doctor's pills. I took all of them. He said only two. But I remember. I didn't think I... I took all of them. I'm not dreaming. I'll never wake up out of this dream. I'm dead. <laughs> Mr. Obler, trapped in a dream, huh? Why not? You know, Frank, there are some people that say that for all we know, all of us are in a dream. <laughs> did you ever see a dream walking? Well, I did. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Doesn't everything exist only through your senses? What you see exists, what you hear exists, what you smell exists. But the existence of things in a dream is just as real. Is it possible that right at this moment you're dreaming? Well, time out till I pinch myself. Oh, No, I'm awake enough to want to know what's happening next week. Well, 
next week. It's a really exciting story. But supposing you tell me first, Frank, what you've got to say, and I'll follow you. Well, I'll just take a moment for another very important point about ironized yeast. Folks, if vitamin B and iron shortage is what's keeping you miserably thin and weak and jittery, for your own sake, get ironized yeast tablets right away. They cost but a few pennies a day, and you don't risk even those few pennies. For ironized yeast is sold on a money-back basis. That's right. If you don't quickly begin to eat and sleep better, to gain new pounds to feel much stronger and peppier, the cost of the first bottle will be refunded to you in full by Ironized Yeast, Box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. But remember, there's only one Ironized Yeast. You'll know it by the big letters IY on the package and on each tablet. Now, what were you saying about next week's story, Mr. Obler? Well, before I tell you that, uh, there's something of vital importance to you and me I'd like to talk about. I mean, to all of you out there. It's inflation. Yes, that's a terror as much as a nightmare. The fight against inflation involves every man, woman, and child. This is a front on which, in the words of President Roosevelt, everyone in the United States will be privileged to remain in action throughout the war. Now, what causes the present danger of inflation? Our factories are working at top speed, but they're turning out equipment needed to win the war. Not goods for you. More to spend, less to buy. This is the danger point. This can be the beginning of disastrous inflation if we start bidding against each other for the limited amount of goods on hand. If each of us tries to get a hold of everything he can, we force prices up. Savings, insurance policies are wiped out. Now, our government has taken steps to control the rising cost of living, and you, well, you ought to know about those details. These include provisions for keeping prices stable and for distributing goods fairly through rationing. As part of the same anti-inflation program, wages and farm prices have been stabilized and excess profits are being taxed. We can beat inflation if all of us understand these measures are our protection to ourselves and work to make them effective. We shall lose out to inflation if each group and individual acts on the principle of, he got something, I'm going to get something too. Now, beating inflation means buying only what we need, putting aside for the future every other extra dollar. And now about next week's play. It's a story about a man who did exactly this. He took out a match, he lit it. And he looked into the flame, and as he did so, he thought to himself, why, that little dancing thing in the flame is alive. For life, he knew, was anything that moved by itself and fed another matter. And that definition certainly applied to the flame. So he lit another match, and then... <laughs> but that's next week. Yes, tune in next Tuesday again for Arch Obler's eerie story, The Flame. And if you need more vitamin B and iron, be sure to try ironized yeast. The one and only ironized yeast. With the big letters IY on the package and on each tablet. It is later than you think. Be foresighted about caring for your shoes. Make a note now to use Energene Shoe White on your white summer shoes and get more satisfactory wear from them. Energene Shoe White is made with the whitest pigment obtainable. It spreads over your shoes quickly, is easy to use, dries in a neat white uniform coating over the entire shoe. Use it regularly to keep your white shoes looking their best all the time. Remember, for the best of care for the white shoes you wear, Energene Shoe White. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. Thanks for listening to this week's retro radio episode of Weird Darkness. If you like the show, please share it with someone you know who loves old-time radio and leave a rating and review in the podcast app you listen from to help spread the word about Weird Darkness and Retro Radio Sunday. And a huge thanks to our friends at ClassicRadioStore.com for generously providing the old-time radio shows you hear on Weird Darkness Retro Radio Sunday. Remember, you can save 20% on all of the ClassicRadioStore.com shows by using the promo code WEIRD at checkout. The rest of the week, I narrate new stories of the paranormal or strange stories, true crime, monsters, and mysteries, so be sure to subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already done so. I upload episodes seven days a week. You can email me anytime and find all of my social media links on the contact page at WeirdDarkness.com. Also on the website, you can listen to free audiobooks that I've narrated, shop the Weird Darkness store, 
sign up for the newsletter to win monthly prizes, and more. Weird Darkness is a production and trademark of Marlar House Productions. Copyright Weird Darkness. I'm Darren Marlar. Thanks for joining me in the Weird Darkness.